What's up, subreddits, and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be discussing the five types of ADCs that you'll meet in solo queue. From the untouchable god of positioning to the whiny diaper baby spamming you because you accidentally last hit their caster minion, solo queue has it all. And I'm sure that some of these might be your friends, so go ahead and send them this video and don't tell them which one they are. Before we get too far into it though, our question of the day is which ADC champion do you prefer to have on your team? Let us know in the comments down below or click the link below and hop into our Discord to discuss it with the rest of the Pro Guides community. Now, without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. First up is the whiner. This is the ADC that keeps me awake at night. The whining, the complaining, the squealing, the fragile egoed ADC players who haven't rolled with a single punch a day in their life. You take a caster minion with an AoE ability, spam ping. You get hit by one hook after they've already been hit by six, spam ping. You steal a kill that would have escaped from them, well, spam ping. You kill an enemy champion that was about to kill them but they think they could have gotten it, oh, you best believe that's a spam pinging. You haven't seen this many question marks since your last school exam. There's no way around it, these guys are just 10 ply soft, and they have the most delicate mental in the entire game, so tread lightly. As for how good they are, that is a toss up, but how good can they really be if they're getting worked up about every little thing? Underneath all of that shrill baby raging, they're probably a decent player, and they might actually climb if they could stop tilting themselves and their teammates into the darkest depths of the nearest daycare center. Do yourself a favor and just mute this player, especially their pings. Just pretend that whenever you see their champion stop moving, it isn't because they're typing, but because they're just taking their first deep breath that they've had in years and they're finally unwinding a little bit. They are definitely blaming you for the fact that they stubbed their toe on their Hot Wheels set this morning, but just pretend that they aren't, because it's the only way to retain your sanity. Next up is the Lone Wolf. Whereas the whiner is identifiable by their constant complaining, you can identify the lone wolf by their complete and utter refusal to group with the team. Honestly, it's a shame though, because the vein spotter usually has some of the best mechanics around. They dodge all the skill shots, their positioning is on point, and their auto spacing is perfectly timed. Everything is great except that they can't really utilize these mechanics because they're just CSing all game. It seems like they're allergic to moving with their team for objectives. I'm pretty sure that even being in close proximity to their support for the entirety of laning phase gets them uncomfortably close to an anaphylactic shock, so they have to spend the rest of the game in the side lane trying to 1v3 when the enemy team inevitably just sends the goon squad to come delete them or just ignore them completely and just end the game. In truth, this ADC is a top laner in a marksman's body. They're there for the glory of the outplay, but they're not there to do the smart thing, and if you try to tell them to group, they'll feed you a line about how they're drawing pressure and you could be taking objective while they're splitting. Like, yeah, what a great idea, taking objectives. We didn't think of that. If only we had some kind of damage-based class specifically engineered to take objectives as efficiently as possible. Wouldn't that just be nuts? Oh wait, that's what the ADCs are for. And Arcers got blown up in a silent for the 37th time this game because they specced all of their skill points into mechanics and didn't leave any for brain power. If you encounter the lone wolf, all you have to do is try to get your team to follow them around and play whatever smooth brain choice that they've decided will look best in their crappy YouTube highlight reel. The third type of ADC you'll meet in solo queue is the frontliner. Just like the lone wolf, the frontliner never learned the word caution. Partially because the word is a syllable too long for them to wrap their minds around, but also because they lack any setting other than forward of their mental and internal gear shift. They lack basic human fear and or respect. This player either doesn't care or simply doesn't realize that they should care. But they're perfectly happy to take their 1000 health paper mache champion and walk straight down to the nearest bruiser to square off, up close and personal. Usually they're swiftly deleted, but sometimes their aggressive playstyle pays off and those are the moments that they live for. Famous lines like, what the F, no team follow up, and that champion's just broken. The frontliner believes a good offense is the best defense, because that's all that matters, then they'll do anything to damage at any cost. And they're probably always quote unquote, limit testing. The fourth type of ADC is the scaredy cat, the polar opposite of the frontliner. For whatever reason, this ADC is just generally terrified of anything that moves. Fights will happen in front of them and they'll just keep CSing. An enemy champion will appear in their lane and they'll instantly flash away. In teamfights, they'll just stay about 10 miles away from anything vaguely threatening and occasionally pepper in a few auto attacks, drastically reducing their effectiveness. This ability to gauge spacing is good, but to thrive as an ADC and truly have value, you have to know when it's okay to be more aggressive in teamfights. The scaredy cat, however, takes no chances at all and they don't have an aggressive bone in their body, so don't expect them to follow up on any engagement. They will view their own playstyle as safe and they like to say, well, at least I'm not dying. But when they're failing to put out damage that they need to be putting out, they might as well be dead anyway. 
especially when they tend to be falling behind in CS because they don't trade enough in lane to have any pressure. On the plus side, they're right to a certain extent, they don't really die much. So if you're lucky enough to have a hard carry somewhere else on the map, the plus side is that the enemy bot lane won't be fed. They'll probably be ridiculously well farmed and outplay your ADC at every turn, but you know, they won't be fed. The fifth and final type of ADC solo queue has to offer is the Silent Hero. The Silent Hero is the League of Legends equivalent of the wordless RPG protagonist, quietly saving the realm from peril. They're everything the lone wolf wishes that they could be. They farm well, they position well, they trade well, and they have good enough macro to be where they need to be. They don't whine, they don't complain, they just quietly do their job and put their team on their back. The only catch is that in their silence they often fail to communicate vital information, leading to the downfall of their teammates. Many of them will get the simple courtesy ping to convey information, but you can be pretty damn sure that they aren't going to be typing to tell how good or bad of a job that you did on that last play, but on the plus side, at least they're focused on the game and on winning. It just feels like you're playing with a high level AI that can only communicate through death and destruction. The origins of this benevolent creature are a mystery really. Are they from a better server? Are they imbued with the power of the gods themselves? Or maybe they're just a super toxic gamer that just got chat banned. All of these are possible and all mind warping, but take your LP and don't question it. If you're lucky, once in a blue moon they'll give you a singular good job in the chat or GG well played for hella shit. Thanks for watching guys and once again please remember to hop into the comments or on our discord to tell us which ADC champion you prefer having on your team. We would love to hit you guys with that hot, fresh, heart react and we really do love hearing from you guys. Until next time, I hope you guys stay safe, I hope you guys stay healthy, see you guys on the rift and have a wonderful day. Peace.